this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. For the root, thee. Thou wilt save him. The branches are broken off that I might be grafted in. Why? Well, because of unbelief they were broken off. Uh, thou standest by faith. Yes. Be not high minded, but fear. For if God, if God spared not the natural branches, take heed lest he also spare not thee. Hmm. Uh huh. Check it out. I figured out. There you go. <laughs> Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of God on them which fell severity. <laughs> but toward the goodness, uh -huh. if thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou shalt be cut off. Ooh, now that's the part, mm -hmm. that's the, that's the, that's the piece we have to be mindful of. Yep, and they also, that, that's very good. Can we come in on that a little bit? Huh? <laughs> We're coming on that one just yeah. a little bit? Yeah, we, a little bit. Out, you can leave a slide, huh? If we start getting murderous in our mentality, and, yes. and bigoted in our thought processes and hateful in our spirit. Yes. How can he use it? Yeah. That's the point. If the one branch can be cut off and the wild branch can be grafted in, uh, we got to be mindful that we don't fall in the same trap of the other people that, that was cut off. off. That's the warning, I think, to, uh, you know, I'm sorry, Pastor Tim, but I have to go here. That's the warning to black people. Black men cannot raise up to hate white folk. It ain't, it ain't what God is for, for, for trying to produce in us. Yeah, he don't want us to get that. No, that's no he's not right. trying to get us to retaliate against what they did, but what I think he's trying to do is get us to lead them into his presence, honestly. Exactly, exactly. Now you're talking. It's, it's so that's what I'm saying. And the reason I was saying what that was, Brother Asher, was the fact that what I'm saying, we will not be replaced. That, 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 that translated me, we will not be cut off from the branch, from the root. To be honest, Pastor, I I don't know what these guys were were truly thinking, thinking by saying what they were saying. I, I don't know. I really it's don't. A, it felt and, I, and I can't imagine them, them being intelligent enough to be speaking based on the wisdom of God. Woo. I really don't. Woo. I really don't. I think they were just talking something. They were saying something that could be biblical, but not their intentions. No, you know I what agree. I'm saying? Yeah, I agree because I'm saying is that the children of Israel start the same. I'm saying that the children of Israel was the same way. The mentality was that they were forsaken by God uh -huh. because of their unbelief. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and, when but, when when I look at it on, on that aspect, to to be grafted in is to be accepted of God. Yes, sir. And so you are to take on his nature. That's where it says you are to get from the fat of the tree. Come on now. You take on his nature, his personality. Come on, brother. Uh, uh, the, the, Come on. Every, all the characteristics that you demonstrate, though you may be a hybrid. Yes, sir. May be different. Different. Outwardly. Come on now. <laughs> it's the inward presence that Come is sustaining on. you. Come on. That should change you. Woo! So That's the root, the root. So, yeah. Amen. But the but root. the root isn't our root. <laughs> we it's the, it's the nourishment thereof. Yes. So sir. it's the sustainment. Yes, sir. So once we once we move from that, then there is the possibility of being broken off just like those branches that existed there from the beginning. The natural branch, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's to rely on the source. It's to become as one with the source and not be moved by the cares of this world Woo! because this world does not sustain us. Come on, bro. And as long as we are focused Woo! on what is sustaining us, then we are rooted and grounded in Christ, which is rooted and grounded in God, which is our life everlasting. So that is, to me, is the focus. Yeah. And when these people come in and they're not 
you know, they're calling themselves Christians, they may accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. But if they're not taking on the characteristics of the source, Come on. then I do believe they shall be broken off. Yeah, well, remember John, John 15 said that. I am the bread, I am the bread, everybody else, I think it is John 15. My father is a husbandman, I'm the branch, yeah. right? And yeah. he said, you are the, you are the, what is, one is the branch, one is the other, what's the other one? I'm the, I'm I am the branch. Vine, you are uh, the I'm the true vine, you are the uh, branches. He's the vine, you the branches. Yeah. And he said, if you don't bear. If you don't abide in me, you that, can bear nothing. Yeah. You, you cut off. Yep. That, that scripture right here that we just read lines up with John 15. Yeah, it does. That, 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 that you, you've been grafted in. You've been grafted in. You're a branch. But but you you become unfruitful. You start moving toward the things of the world. Start operating in hate and disgust and all that other stuff. They, 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 they're, they're cut off. Yeah. And he's saying the same thing. The children of Israel, because they were coming hard in their heart and and, and not be, they couldn't even see their savior when he came. They couldn't even recognize him. They, they rejected him. Yeah. They were cut off. Yes. Huh? And, and also to go along with that, you will know them for the love, their love for one that's another. The, that's it. I mean, they're all are intertwined, they're interchangeable, you know, and they all bear witness to the fact that you must come on, bro. take on the characteristics come on. of our Lord and Savior and our Father. Come on. So if you don't, then, you know, uh, it's not we uh -huh. are to challenge yes. people's relationship. Yeah. It's not the world. If, they're, if they don't claim to be Christians, that's God. That's God. Yeah. That's God's responsibility. Come That's on. the Ten Commandments Come that on. is condemning, uh, condemning them. Yes, but sir. those who call themselves sons of God, it Come is on. us Woo. that are supposed to challenge their Christianity. Yes, sir. Their like mindedness. Yes, sir. Their holiness. Come on. You know, their righteousness. Come on, brother. Their love. Yeah. If they don't bear fruit, then we are to challenge them. That's Bible right there. there that you go. is scripture. Yep. And, and you know, and, and I think that's one of the problems is sometimes the church, and let's talk about our white brothers in the church dealing with people in the church that that call themselves, let's say abusive cops. I'm gonna use that for example. They say, Did you have to shoot that man 14 times, brother? I mean, for the love of God, I'm just understanding we you, we can call ourselves brothers. How, why did you shoot that man? I'll just use that example. Yeah. Well, that man was in the park, black man. He may have some mental issue, whatever. But in fact, did you have to shoot him 14 times? You say you use that as an example. That's a reality. That's we have to call each other and check in a a with what the word is. But you know, you, you, no different than uh, in the military. And, and this, this is a, a, a testimony Come on, of bro. reality. Yes, sir. We practice war yes sir which is our profession mm -hmm. so when war comes it's not practice mm. it is action is that yes yeah, sir executing okay that. so no different these police officers come on brother in their practicing and training they are trained and they practice emptying a clip but it's no longer to uh subdue there is you know there is yeah. no longer to contain uh to uh to eliminate you know the the uh the the, the, the threat. threat yeah the threat now they're they're just trained to all it is empty your clip mm -hmm. on the perp perpetrator period so if that's how you train Woo. when you are put in that situation or circumstance that's how you react that's interesting empty the clip that is it now because you know that it's, it's we don't really get a lot of them doing that something like that they want the wendy's they gotta get shot at wendy's they, 
He only he only had two shots or three shots in his back. Didn't he? he uh, I don't I don't remember the two, particulars. Two or three shots, but they didn't empty the clip on him. And well, we don't know. That's just how many hit him. <laughs> They no, I'm serious. Them. I'm just being serious. Because, you know, when you're emptying a clip, your gun is 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 doing things that, you know, it takes a whole lot of practice to be able to hit the target that many times when you're you're in a stressful situation and you're just pulling the trigger until right. it just stops. That's you stop possible, hearing the bang. But so we know two, we know two your accuracy the is tends to to uh overcome to diminish. That. Okay, yeah, yeah, but it, but but the thing about that one that the one that got, that got shot four times was in a park, dead broad daylight. You know, uh, the body is not moving. You know, yeah. I think, you know what I mean? I think matter of fact that happened on that one where the one was on the the bridge in New York. I think it was. Then the boy acted like he had a little knife and me. He was moving away from the police, and that one oh, guy. Oh, and the guy yeah. just drove up, got out the car, and just started shooting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He, I think he shot the man at least six, seven times. Well, you know, I have my own personal theories about that. I think that guy that got out and started shooting was scared that the person that he did get out and shoot had some information about him doing crime. Ooh. That's just my thought. Yeah. And so if he got arrested, then he was going to be told on. Mm -hmm. And so he just showed up and just started shooting at me. That's just my theory. And, and look, you know, he kept telling him, say, all I just want him to do is drop the knife. Dude, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. You shoot, you're shooting him with the intent for him to drop it. Uh, no, people die when you shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about, I just wanted him to drop the knife. I'm just saying. It, it, and I'm saying is the is the church is the, the ability of brothers and brothers, you know what I mean? To sit there and say, did you have to do that? You know, is that is that does that make sense? We can't honor you. We can't bring you up on the stage and, and say, you know, thank God you survived this this encounter with this criminal. You know? It just diminished. Yeah, well. And we don't talk about it. One of the uh, things that needs to start taking place, this is just my personal opinion, even though we got a little off track, is that if these people cannot protect and serve without them going home safely being their priority, because that means that you're going to do anything to eliminate any threat that's going to stop you from going home, that has nothing to do with protecting and serve. So yeah. protecting and serving is not your priority, then you don't need to be in that position. Exactly. exactly. And they also need to be held accountable, no different than any criminal that comes out and shoots without provocation. Come on, brother. So who would hold them accountable, though? Yeah, hold them accountable as a Christian. The fact is that that's what I'm saying is, the, you didn't, you weren't off base on when you said what we're talking about because I'm saying that we're using this. These people were broken off. They were grafted in. Verse that verse twenty four. But if thou were cut out of the olive tree, which was wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to nature, into the good olive tree, how much more shall thee, which be the natural branch, be grafted into the own olive tree? But I, what I was looking for the one way to say to be cut off, I guess it's 22. Behold, therefore, the goodness and severity of God on them which fail severely, but toward thee, goodness. If thou continue in his goodness, otherwise thou also shall be cut off or cut off. So when we talk in the terms of being cut off, we're seeing being cut off from God. Yeah. 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 Because you already grafted in, grafted into. That's what John 15 talked about. Grafted into. So there were people who are believers who acted contrary to what Christ was. Which you know, yeah, would believe was God God Christ. Christ. And so that, that's the wild olive. Yeah. You can't be a Christian and say that you you can't do stuff like that and say that you're a Christian. That doesn't line up. 
doesn't line up. So, so, so what you think is it? And you breaking away from the branch. So you we have to hold them accountable in accordance with what what Christ has said. Yeah. Yeah, it's our responsibility. If you claim to be a brother. Uh,